Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell about the functionalities that MailChimp for Salesforce has to offer. Firstly, we are going to look at campaigns and how we can actually sync the campaigns between our MailChimp website and Salesforce. Secondly, in the settings, we need to enable the data sync and creation of leads. Now I'm going to make a query to sync our data from Salesforce to MailChimp. Here we are going to select the audience required for the sync up followed by the filters. So over here we can either sync leads, contacts or both. In this case, I'm just going to stick to contacts and the filter is going to be a particular email address that I'm looking for. So after selecting the operator equals, I'm just going to put in the email address and click on next. In preview, it's going to show me the data which is going to populate in MailChimp. After clicking on next, I see that there's a query scheduling time which I need to give. So every day at 1 a.m. is what I'm going to go and save the query. Now we are going to import the data from MailChimp to Salesforce Developers Org. After navigating to MailChimp, click on contacts. Add a subscriber. We are just going to fill in some random details and set it as a subscriber. After the required details are filled, click on subscribe. Uh, we have our user. We can view its profile over here. Now navigating back to our Salesforce developers org. In the audience, we need to refresh all our audiences and click on sync audience for the sync to take place. Following this, a couple of in a couple of minutes, it's gonna register us as lead. Now, if we see John Mayer is a lead in Salesforce Developers Org. Now we are going to navigate to MC campaigns to look at the existing campaigns that we have. For example, if we enter this campaign, we are going to have all the data regarding this particular campaign along with the sent, likes, clicks and everything. All the analytics are also available in this so we can have a look in it. After navigating to the MailChimp website, we are going to create a new campaign. Let's say a email campaign with a particular name and we'll save it. We'll see if the campaign pops up in our Salesforce developers org. After finishing the campaign, we're going to navigate back to our Salesforce org. Over here, we are going to refresh the campaigns, followed by a reloading of the page. Now, if we see the campaign is present, the email.